Kevin Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and today I'm proud to represent one of the most significant two-strokes uh, of all time. This is a three-cylinder, two-stroke Suzuki GT750 Water Buffalo. Significant because it's liquid-cooled. Uh, these were notorious for going long, long, long miles and uh, being great all-day bikes, touring bikes. A lot of them were set up for uh, grand touring. We just sold one on eBay. Check our completed listings uh, this week, an orange one for $9,100 and it's shipping to Australia. So, crikey mate, what's it costing to ship it there? I'm not really sure, but uh, the last two we sold went to Australia and uh, we, we got a half a dozen calls after it sold for, for nine grand. People saying if he backs out, I'll buy it. So these bikes are hot, fantastic investment. Um, and this is a rare opportunity. This particular bike only has 23,000 miles. Uh, we've got the previous registration, transferable, transferable registration. I have the manuals and the paperwork I'll go over with you. Um, it's in excellent condition mechanically. We did a compression test on it. The compression's on point. It kicks over perfectly. The um, uh, bike has a good battery in it and it has spark to the plugs. But unfortunately, it sat for two or three years, so the, the ethanol fuel gummed up the carburetors, believe it or not. We're backed up six months on registrations, so we don't have the some water yeah. we're gonna uh, it's okay let him go quiet sit, sit down sit. sit come here come here what's the matter boy buddy bear saturday morning he wants to go play so it, what struck me the most about this bike uh, is the color in my opinion the nicest color the gt came in the original factory paint is in excellent condition for a 42 year old motorcycle the tank is beautiful it has uh the original factory uh decals and graphics on there and it shines beautifully. The original exhaust system is in excellent condition. Let me hook up a jump pack to it. I'll show you that, uh, that um, oh, check this out. The, the, check out the gauge can 23,277 miles. Like I said, the last two we sold, sold for over nine grand. Um, the NADA value right now is $11,200. So maybe that's why it's worth shipping one to Australia because you're still under the NADA. Look underneath the seat, that was nice and clean. Baby has plenty of juice. The um, original side covers are in beautiful condition. Usually those crack or are broken or fall off. These are in actually better condition than the orange one we just sold for nine grand. So uh, this one's gonna have a lower reserve. Um, let me just turn it on here. can hear it popping a little bit. Um, we, we sprayed a little bit of carb cleaner into the carburetor and a little sea foam. First we put some Marvel's Mystery on it to lubricate the cylinders. And um, it, it, it did turn over and pop a couple times. So I'm confident with a, either a new, it's always trying to start, you can hear it. in perfect shape you can hear it's trying to turn over but the carbs are gummed up do a carb clean on this thing and you got yourself one kick-ass eleven thousand dollar classic two-stroke um, it has the original seat which uh, looks good on the back but had a couple rips that was patched with tape so I put a new seat cover on there um, a, a nice set of tires on it and uh, go through the bike and you got yourself a world-class classic rare opportunity where we didn't get the chance to do it ourselves so we're gonna take a hit on it um, and sell it as is. If you have any questions about the bike, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Uh, I think the pictures um, tell the story, as does the video, but if you have any questions, give us a call. The original bars are in great shape. The original grips are still intact, um, which is pretty rare to have the original grips at this point. You can see the bike, the, the, the uh, levers are good, the bars are good, the gauges. Um, the, the One of the things that I noted is the front this bike's never been dropped. You can see the ears on the, on the uh, <clears throat> headlight are in perfect shape. The front fender has no dents in it. Um, I, don't see a, I don't see a single dent or ding in the front fender, which is rare. The front disc is in great condition. The wheel's in good shape. The exhaust pipes uh, could use to be re but they're in excellent shape. The uh, engine cover on this side is in nice shape. Still has the, believe it or not, it's originally got the, I can't believe it, but it's got the original factory plastic on it still. 
from uh, 74. I think you can peel that right off and underneath there. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. That's original factory classic from 74 on there. You peel that off and you got a brand new, brand new side cover. The, the uh, GT70 logo is in beautiful condition. The shocks are good. Um, he had it on this little rubber thing on the back right here to keep the, uh, 40 years ago, a little piece of rubber to keep the chain loop from flying up on, on his passenger. Uh, the rear fender's in, in great shape, as is the rear tail light. Perfectly straight, no dings on the rear fender. Pipes on this side look really good. Um, bottom side of the pipes look excellent, no rust through. So absolutely an easy replica of the engine. The engine's in beautiful shape. Oh, it also has a set of uh, um, Vanson Heinz K&N air filters, which are about a $120 set. They're not the cheap ones. These are lifetime filters. They can be cleaned and re-oiled. Uh, just a fantastic bike. The radiator's in good shape, the hoses. So uh, go through it, give it a tune-up, put some uh, paint and chrome on the uh, accessories, and you got yourself a $12,000 bike. So good luck bidding on the bike. If you have any questions, call us. And uh, God bless America. God bless Australia for buying the last two of these, and uh, hopefully this goes to a good home. With that, <coughs> I'm rolling to the museum and get Buddy a bone. Right, Buddy? Come here. You want a bone? You yeah, boy. <laughs> How was that?